Well, the kids are in school and deep into learning this morning, but did you know their environment could be hindering them from absorbing all of that necessary information into those little brains there? Well, one aspect of creating a learning atmosphere that is often overlooked is the furniture. Yes, the furniture in the classroom. Joining us in our parent teacher quarter this morning to talk about the well-designed classroom for better learning, we have John Musso from the Association of School Business Officials and Saul Wagner from Hertz Furniture, a provider of furniture solutions for the educational market. Gentlemen, good morning. Good to see you and have you on the show this morning. Good morning. Thank, thank you. You know, something I really never thought about, the well-designed classroom or the furniture that my children are sitting on. Why should parents be interested in the furnishings in a classroom? Every parent is concerned about how their child learns and their education and their test scores, obviously. But what we seem to don't we don't put together is the furnishings, the classroom environment has a direct relationship not only on how children learn but on their behavior and teachers can't teach unless a student's discipline is in order. Mm, because I guess they have to be comfortable in what they're sitting on, and right? That's definitely what it is and if we think about it for a moment, our children are spending eight hours a day in the classroom mm -hmm. and if students are comfortable they will learn better in that environment. That's true. Alright, so then what can schools do to create a well-designed classroom? Well, uh, several things. I mean, first of all, I think schools have to be strategic in how they plan their classrooms, strategic in how they purchase and what they purchase. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really important, especially today when budgets are, are dwindling. Yeah, and you talk about dwindling budgets, but you also talk about what you said, which is so important, Saul, which is you have to kind of find furniture that works, but that you can also repurpose and that you can continue to use. There's no mm -hmm. question about that. And today's designers of furniture have taken all of that into account. We've looked at how the industry has changed, how the classroom has changed over all these years, how technology has come into the classroom. And furniture has, there's so many different options in furniture sure. today to take advantage of all those changes. So a school needs to say, what are we going to be doing with this room? What are the teaching styles that are going to be going on in this classroom? And then they need to come to a furniture specialist, such as us at Hertz Furniture, and say, this is what we want to use this room for today and in the future. And we have furniture solutions for every type of environment, for every type of teaching style. All right, so Saul, we visited multiple classrooms as examples of different ways to utilize furniture for different age groups. Could you tell us what we found? Well, we found that in the younger age groups, the furniture is designed in such a way that the, the desks are not moved that much during the day. The same desk can be used in a potted environment or a group environment or as a standalone environments, whereas in the older grade groups, the students can be moving those desks around. I do want to talk a little bit about uh, the budget constraints. When you're talking about creating a flexible or new classroom learning environment, what should parents be aware of? And I want both of you to chime in on this one. We've been cutting for the last couple years because of the economy, and now we're cutting at the classroom level. We're cutting teachers, we're cutting aides, we're cutting textbooks. And so when schools put forward budgets that have things in them that say, may seem like fluff, like flexible and great design classroom furniture, typically those are the types of things that people criticize. But we need to be more holistic in, in looking at that budget and analyzing why it's there. Ask more questions before we start to criticize. Mm -hmm. So? Yes, I definitely would agree with what John has to say. And in addition, the schools should be making sure that they're looking for value. Value in terms of what the product costs is over the lifetime of the product, making sure that the product has a warranty, making sure that they're meeting with some, a furniture specialist who can provide them with the solutions that will give the value over the term of the product. So let me ask you then, as a parent, is there anything that I can do to ensure that my child is getting, you know, more comfortable furniture, is maximizing their education where furnishings are concerned? School now are, are going to different types of tax overrides that voters need to approve. Uh, and it's to either fund current teachers and, and textbooks or to fund the capital items like buildings and furniture and equipment types of things. And so when parents go out and vote yes or no, they need to make sure they're educated in terms of why are we asking to put these types of things in the budget? Why do we need additional dollars? And sometimes we don't understand that a teacher's teaching style directly affects a learning a, t a student's learning ability. And you're nodding your, you're nodding your head yes to that. Uh, yes, I agree 100%. Parents should be conveying to the schools what's important to them. Comfort of their of their children is important to them. If environmentally friendly products are important to them, if made in the USA is important to them, convey what's important to you as a parent to 
your to the administration of the schools. Good information, gentlemen. Thank you so much for coming by and sharing it with us on the show this morning. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. And for more information on student furniture, simply log on to the website hertzfurniture.com. Oh, and don't forget to log on to thebalancingact.com for more information and tools in our parent-teacher corner.